welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today marks two weeks post-op, which means I have a two-week follow-up appointment at my office today. So I am going to be seeing my nurse practitioner as well as my nutritionist. So I won't be filming obviously in my appointment, but I'm going to be weighing in there. So I'll update you on what my weight is and I'll give you like my high weight, my weight as of surgery day, and then I'll give you my weight as of today, two weeks after. So come along. Also, I will be grocery shopping for the pureed stage. So I will be taking you along with that as well. And then I'll do like a grocery haul thing. So yeah, I'm also like really happy that the liquid stage is done after today. Ugh, it wasn't awful obviously because like I'm not really that hungry but it's just boring but I will see you after my appointment or maybe right before I don't know so I just got to my appointment I'm gonna go in Please I will update you route. when I'm home. I am out of my appointment. I'm actually home right now, but I weighed in. So the scale at my doctor's office is a higher number. Like I always weigh in higher there than I do compared to weighing in at my home. So my weigh in at the doctor's today was 296 my way in at my house before I got my surgery like morning of surgery it was 318 so I'm down 22 if you count the scale weight at my doctor's office I'm technically down what's 18 plus 22 pounds but if you count the scale at my house this morning I was 292 um, which I'm counting my house scale to be honest because I'm just I've always weighed in on that scale so I was 318 the day of surgery and then this morning I was 292 so that's 18 26 right why don't I know math right now 26 pounds I'm down I am going to stop weighing myself every day because it's making me go insane so I'm going to start weighing myself just every Wednesday morning. I'm going to get up and weigh myself and not every day because I'm not cheating because I got the surgery and obviously I'm not going to cheat because I could get sick and I don't want to go through that. So I just have to let my weight take its course and my body, let it do its thing and everything like that. I have moved on to soft slash pureed food. So excited. It starts tomorrow. So I'm going to go to the grocery store right now. And then I will do like a grocery haul when I get back. And then I will show you guys like what I got and what I plan on eating. Basically, she told me, my nutritionist said, just do um, one ounce of meat when I eat because I'm going to get full really quickly. So that's what I plan on doing. So basically, I will come back to you guys when I get all my groceries. I'm going to try to film in the grocery store though and do like a B-roll type thing for you not the whole trip obviously but i'll film what i can in the grocery store and i want to film on my camera but i just like hate when people look at me and i'm sure everyone's gonna look but at the same time i don't really care because i'm not gonna be filming them so yeah i'm excited i'm glad my weight's down um uh, my highest weight overall was 330 like ever so 330 or like 335 so i am 292 per my scale, 296 per my doctor scale. Going in the right direction, very excited. And I will video at the grocery store and then I will come back. I'm sweating, so I need to go and turn on my AC. All right, bye. Not bye, what am I saying? guys I am home from the grocery store I'm taking this coat off because it's hot in here so I'm gonna go through what I've purchased 
for the pureed stage of this whole thing. Some of the stuff is Vinny's. For anyone that's new watching, Vinny's my boyfriend. But um, some of it's his, so I'm not going to show his. Or you might see me take it out of the bag. I'm... I didn't get too much stuff because I'm just starting to incorporate things that other than liquid. I actually just drank way too much water just now and I literally thought I was going to vomit. So that's cool. But I did get some stuff. I already have eggs in the fridge. So I didn't buy eggs, but I do have eggs and those are things I can eat for the next stage. It's pureed food as well as soft food. So that's good I got so excited when I was there today because they literally told me like stuff I could eat and I was like hold up I can have that so I was really excited um, I hate pineapples hate touching them this is not for me is this is for Vinny and are those are these refrigerated I don't know. Do I have to refrigerate them? Just a cool place, right? I'm gonna I'm leave that on the counter. I have to get them. Ugh. Alright, whoa. I have to get them from the train soon because I drop them off. This is for Vinny. I, this has to go in the fridge. I understand what you're saying. I understand now. I understand. I'm gonna stop showing Benny stuff. Just kidding. Oh, I just moved my shoulder weird. Sorry, my head's cut out. Oh, this is Benny's. Where are my kitties? My kitty kitties. Oh, hey, Sammy. All right. So first, I got applesauce. I'm not a... I don't usually eat applesauce. Also, hopefully the lighting's okay. It looks fine here. It is... It doesn't get dark till later, but the sun's not shining in through my window. I mean, obviously, it looks like the sun's shining in on my window, but it's just like... I don't... I don't know. Never mind. So for the whole container, it's 50 calories. And how many oats? Oh, they're 3.9 ounces. There's no way I'll finish this whole... Th Actually, it's a soft food, so I probably would. But I bought applesauce. Why is this leaking? I also bought butternut squash. I know this is like soft, soft food. I thought. Simon, you want to be in the video too? Tuna. Oh no. Oh, I don't have a candle burner. I don't think. Actually, maybe we do. You can never go wrong with a million packets of sugar-free Jello butterscotch. The, these are um, this is something I could have had, I could have, I did have on my liquid diet. I had, I got one that's open. But it's not the package itself. It's an open, just the outside packages. And then I just bought more because the, honestly, these kind of curb if I had like a sweet tooth going on, which I haven't really had a ton, but it like curbs my appetite for something sweet. So it's not a bad thing. I also bought some of this. I can't believe it's not butter. Oh my god, do not look at my nails. They're nasty. Just if I need it on something. I can on it. I can see my weight loss in my back. I bought these turkey meatballs. So, um, 
I know you're thinking like, oh my God, meatballs, those aren't soft. They can be when you cook them. Just don't burn them. And then you just chop them, like you just eat really tiny pieces at a time. My nutritionist said not to do, okay, so she didn't technically say not to do sauce. She said to be careful basically with it because it might be too early to do sauce right now. But she's like, I could try it, but I, she can't guarantee that it'll like, I mean, she can never guarantee any of this will settle well, but she just, I think she's had people before try sauce and it just didn't work for them. So I'm not doing sauce. What I did get though, I got mozzarella cheese, shredded cheese. And what I'm going to do is I might use these on my eggs, but I also might sprinkle some on my turkey meatballs so it just gives a little bit more taste and it's not just like a plain meatball honestly any type of food right now is going to taste like really good because i haven't chewed anything but this is vinny's too i got light mayo I plan on making egg salad, uh, which I think that's just boiled eggs chopped up with mayo, right? I need to look up the recipe. That sounds so bad. I don't know how to make egg salad, but I'm using this with it because I was told I could have it because it's soft and yeah, pretty much. And they said I could have, um, I just can't do red meat right now because they said it that takes longer to like get through your system. They just don't want to put that on right now. Truth be told, I don't really eat red meat all that often. I will if I, I mean, I'll have turkey burgers. Those aren't red meat. I don't know why I just said that. But I typically don't really eat red meat. I will have a burger here and there, but it doesn't digest well with me, especially since I got my gallbladder out. Red meat is like a no for me. Not mad about it because I'm a big chicken person, so. Speaking of chicken, I got chicken salad. I know some of the chicken in this chicken salad is hard. So if I come across some hard pieces, I'm either A, not going to eat it, or B, I'll just chop it really, really, I'll chop it beyond more than what it is chopped, and I'll eat it that way. I love chicken salad so much. These are Vinny's for taco seasoning. I've never had cream of wheat. But she, um, she, my nutritionist said that I can't have, like, I can't do the oatmeal that's flavored. And I was just going to get the oats, but then I'm like, is there like a special way to make that? Oh my God, I haven't eaten, sorry. I think I'm burping because my stomach's empty. I uh, So I was just like, I'm just gonna get this. It's original, there's nothing to it. And then you just, I don't even know how to make this. You can make it with water or milk. You know what my nutritionist did give me for an idea is you can mix the plain oatmeal with a protein powder. I'm gonna show you guys what protein powder I use because it's freaking amazing and you guys should all go out and buy it especially if you like like Reese's peanut butter cups I can literally smell it from here so it's my fave I like it so much I've honestly this is my first time trying this kind I've had protein powder in the past but this is like my favorite and then last but not least um if any of you guys are food police then click out of my video um with you can you can't have that i got this you know what i can have it because my nutritionist said i could so i just can't have a lot of it at once and she wants me to focus on protein sorry if i'm like all over the place right now Okay, first off, I need to get, I'm going to order chewable calcium because I can take calcium now. She gave me like chewable ones. 
I mean, I don't know what I'm showing you besides like, whoa, the packaging. But um, she gave me like, the, she said those ones are like a Starburst consistency. She gave me a chalky one to try out too. And then I have to get my own. So I'm just going to order them online. Because uh, she wants me to take two a day, one with lunch, one with dinner. Or I could do one at dinner and then one before bed. But I'll just do one at lunch, one at dinner. Unless, like, I forget one day. And then I'm not a beans person. I know you, you can get protein from that. But I'm just, not, like, I'll eat beans if they're, like, in with something. But I just can't sit there eating beans. So, but... The other thing I can have is, I don't know if I've said it yet. <clears throat> well, I've told you I can have the chicken salad. So I can have shredded chicken. And she said rotisserie chicken. So I'm going to be, they have them at the store where they like, I think most grocery stores have them. Where they make the rotisserie chicken and sell them, obviously. So I'm going to get that tomorrow for lunch. And then for breakfast, I think I'm just going to start with scrambled eggs. With one egg and see how it settles. So I am working from home. I am back to work. So with regards to like my work time, I took off. So I had surgery June 8th. I took off June 8th. I took off that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I only work Monday to Friday. So then I was off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then the following week I was off that f Monday to Friday. So a week and a half. And then I returned to work this week. Like not in person though from home. So I could just, because I don't want something to happen where I try food and then I have to run to the bathroom, whether I have to puke or I have to go out the other end. I don't want to be at work for that, so that's not happening. But she basically said now that like I'm moving on to the next stage that focus on protein. So she wants me to have, she wants me to hit 64 ounces of fluids, which is already hard for me to hit a lot. And then she wants me to be at... 70 grams of protein a day so i'm i'm gonna struggle with that too i don't know what i'm gonna do like some of this a lot of this stuff has protein but i'm not gonna be able to eat that much so i'm gonna focus on my fluid intake and then try to figure out see a serving size is three meatballs and that's 85 grams i don't know how many ounces that is Alexa, how many ounces are in 85 grams? 85 grams is about 3 ounces. Okay, so that's 3 ounces. That means each meatball is 1 ounce, and I can only have 1 ounce of meat at every meal. Skinny. I'm so skinny. That's my grocery haul for the week. I tried to make it more interesting, but it definitely probably got boring that you guys just came to the grocery store with me. Um, I don't have a ton to say. I'm going to order those vitamins. I'm really nervous to start eating regular food. I'm excited, but I'm scared because I hate throwing up. And sis, if I puke, <laughs> when I puke, it is not quiet. I scream like someone is doing an exorcism on me. I, oh, I'm, I, I don't like puke. I mean, I can say I don't like puking, but I'm sure no one has ever said they like puking. So, oh, also, if you haven't tried, this so good. You know what else is good is the Minute Maid Zero Sugar Fruit Punch, and now I can't find it anywhere. Like literally nowhere. I can find like pink lemonade and regular lemonade, but I can't find the fruit punch one. So I've been doing that. But I will say the first time I tried the Hawaiian punch packet, uh, it kind of like made my stomach feel weird. I like wasn't sick, but I felt almost like gassy and gross. So either do more water with that powder or do less of the powder in the water. I still put the whole powder in it, but that's just me. I'm too lazy to like have to package it in a plastic bag. I'd rather I guess be sick. Um, 
so that's the end of my day. I never vlog on Wednesdays. We got a vlogger midweek. Also, I just want to thank everyone that has watched my surgery video and subscribed to me through that. I do appreciate it a lot. And I'm excited to keep posting my progress to everyone, especially people that like are thinking about getting it, you know, and I get it. And everyone moves at their own pace when it comes to losing weight. So like I said before, my highest weight ever, I think was anywhere from 330 to 335, like ever in my life. And that was more so I think recent, not like super recent, but within the past year or so. So, and now I'm well, at my doctor's, I'm 296, but at my house this morning, I was 292. So, and when I weighed myself the day of surgery at my house, I was 318. And I'm this morning at my house, I was 292. So, that's 18. I've done this before. Oh, 20, 25 pounds? 24 pounds? I, I'm obviously doing 26 pounds. Yeah, 26. I'm gonna follow my scale but because I've been using that the whole time and obviously like you're gonna weigh different at on one scale than you are the other so but I do want to thank everyone that watches my videos that found me recently that subscribed I appreciate it so much if you have questions you can always comment I reply to literally everyone um, I just dropped my tuna for like the 12th time so any questions definitely let me know oh. um, I'll answer as best as I can I everyone moves at a different pace weight loss wise I'm heavier so it's more likely for me to lose more weight across like doing liquids only for two weeks than someone that weighs like 100 pounds less than me like it's just how the body works so don't get down if you're doing this process and you lost less your first two weeks than me because I am heavier and it's not going to keep jumping. I've been at a stall between, I got down to 288 at one point and then I went up to like 294. So I've been stalling in between those numbers. So, and I haven't lost below 288. So like I, it's catching up and like slowing down a little bit for me. And I'm now only going to weigh myself on Wednesdays. So, and I told my doctor that. I uh, weigh myself every day and she's like oh my god do not do that so and obviously I shouldn't that's common sense I know I shouldn't weigh myself every day but you just like get into this like oh I want to weigh myself I want to weigh myself I want to weigh myself because like you are eating the right food every day well I am because I am not cheating because I am too freaking scared to puke okay but <sighs> yeah so I can't eat anything tonight food wise but I can start tomorrow Sorry if I touch my hair a lot in my videos. Oh my god, my this is getting so long. Okay, also sorry if this video is super long. But, again, I appreciate everyone watching my videos. I appreciate all the likes, all the comments. Everyone's been so, so nice to me. If you ever want to talk or anything, you can comment down below. I have an Instagram. Um, I use my TikTok for the most part. I'm not like too... I use it a lot sometimes. I don't sometimes. Berries. I have a Twitter. All of my social media handles are in the description box below. If you just found me, please subscribe, like this video, comment down below that you're new, and I will be posting a ton of updates. I post typically just once a week because I do work a full-time job Monday to Friday. So it's not super easy for me to, and it's not the filming, it's more so the editing portion. I don't always have time because I always work a ton of overtime. I'm like always working. So sorry if I'm out of breath, but I'm gonna go. I appreciate everyone that watched it thus far because I already can see this is like going on 20 minutes of me talking and I've already filmed a good five minutes. Uh, maybe it won't be terribly long. But, oh, I can show you my incisions. I don't like people looking at my stomach, but screw it because I'm here to show everyone. If you haven't seen fat on a stomach or anything before, then I guess that's your problem, not mine. Um, okay. Ow. I have one incision here. I have another one here. I have 
one here, 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 and I have one here. So they did six incisions on my stomach, and my pain level, I don't feel any pain at all. I'm good. I could go run a marathon. Not really, because I don't run, but I'm going to go because I can't keep looking at this food that I can't eat till tomorrow. I'm going to put the stuff away in my fridge. My hair is all over the place. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all the support again. And I will see you next video. Bye.